Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ivy League Analytical English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today we have a translation exercise for you. Here is number one. 好，第一题，它题目是：尽管坚持自己的目标不见得很容易，但你至少应该尝试一下。啊，那这个中文用尽管开头啊，但是英文呢，我们当然我们可以用 although 啊，哈，或者是用呃、uh, in spite of the fact that 等等来开头啊。但是呢，这个其实，哎，在英文的习惯上面，用 although 开头的句子呢，其实还应该是蛮强调那个 although 的感觉嘛。That's exactly right, and I realized that although you were speaking, although you were speaking Chinese,、yeah. as soon as you said that although,、mm-hmm. my head reacted, ha ha, Chinese English. Oh. That's the first thing my head said. Well, I've been living here a long time, so、mm-hmm. a native speaker who hasn't been to China or Taiwan, they wouldn't be thinking that's China,、uh, Chinese English, but they would think it doesn't sound like natural English spoken by a native speaker so much. Of course, we do it; it's no problem, and you will see it. But as soon as I hear "although," my head has this reaction. I hear a student. Although I don't like to go, but I will go anyway. That's what that's what I hear in my head.、Mm. As soon as I hear "although," I think a but is coming, and you shouldn't use the two together. That's、mm-hmm. one problem.、Yeah. And the other thing is, too many Chinese start with "although" too often.、Mm. 好，所以呢，用 although 开开始一个英文句子呢，文法上面是对的，而且在某些情况之下也会这样写。但是各位其实可以注意一下，你平常在阅读英文里面，就 native speakers 写的英文的时候，你应该会觉得说，用 although 开头的句子其实不多啊，因为这个东西跟他们的那个 instinct 总总是 somehow 就不是那么合啊。Yeah, I may be more sensitive from living in Taiwan so long because、yeah. I've heard it too many times.、Mm-hmm. But the reason is because we don't usually like to give a lot of Background information at the beginning.、Mm. We prefer to get to the point, and we'll explain later.、Mm-hmm. We need to take care of the situation. We're going to tell you what's going on, what's important, and we'll give the reason later. And Chinese is just the opposite. You give a lot of background, a lot of reasons, because you're trying to soften things up. You want to prepare the listener for that kind of surprising point that's coming. Hmm. That 这里还有一点很重要，就是讯息分配的问题哈。那中文跟英文有个很大的差别，中文会先给你 background， 好，先给你一些啊原因啊，好，虽然怎样啊，让步之句先给你讲一讲，然后最后再讲出你的句子的这个重点在哪里。但是英文呢，喜欢先讲这个重点出来，然后再交代 background。所以各位记得这个英文最基本的句型，主词加动词加受词，然后呢副词子句，它最正常的位置是放在哪里？放在句尾。Very often,、yeah. and that's why when you are interacting with a foreigner, either in English or Chinese, you might find that we are very direct. We just、mm-hmm. jump in and say something, and、yeah. you jump. You think, "My goodness, where did that come from?" <laughs> 很直接 yeah. That comes right from our language. 嗯，好，所以很多时候这个是语言会影响文化，或者文化影影响语言啊，互相有影响。所以外国人，你如果跟外国人这个呃交流的时候，你会常常会发现他们。好像有时候讲话很直接，很唐突，啊，很唐突，突然之间一个就冒出来了。那那是因为他们的思考方式跟我们不一样，他们会先把讯息交代出来，然后再交代背景。那中文呢，正好大部分时候是相反的，我们是先交代背景，那希望你慢慢了解我为什么这样讲。And this is very, very, very important, and I don't think it's taught in many books, but it should be because this is one of the Biggest differences between English and Chinese. 嗯，那这一点非常的重要哈。大部分的书都没有谈到这一点哈。所以各位今天如果听到这个的话，你就真的赚到了。<笑>好，所以这一句话呢，我们我我们开头呢，不一定要用 although 开始翻，我可以直接讲出来说，把我的重点讲出来。那这里的重点到底是哪一个呢？其实你两个都。我是觉得这句话真正的的这个重点，两个都是，前面也是重点，后面也是重点，所以我其实可以把前面这个坚持自己的目标，不见得很容易，我先可以先翻啊。然后呢，这个不见得啊，通常这个啊，我们之前讨刚刚讨论的 ，Karen 老师说，哎，他常常会觉得可以翻成 not necessarily， 嗯，但在这里呢，其实我们可以换个方法啊，因为这个地方。感觉不见得很容很容易，好像是说不是每一次都可以成功那种感觉啊，所以我们可以说 not always 啊。然后呢，这个做某件事情很容易，通常英文我们可以说 it's easy 或者 it's not easy to do something。好，那接下来还要处理的是坚持自己的目标啊。那坚持自己的目标，英文里面呢可以用 stick to 啊，那目标可以用 goal 啊 ，g o a l。那 goal 接下来就要考虑。好，这个 go 要用单数还是复数啊？那如果用单数的话，好像是特别某一次的事情啊。但在这里是很 general， 就是啊，坚持自己的目标不见得很容易。这好像并不特别指某一件事情。所以这里呢，比较好的用法是 go 是用复数。
。好，所以呢，我们前面就可以前面这个词句我们可以翻成 ，It's not always easy to stick to your goals. 啊，这样的话前面就解决了。那后面呢？但是你至少应该尝试一下啊。那因为里面呢，这个至少 at least 可以放在句首，可以放在句中，可以放在句尾。但是呢，你至少应该怎么样？英文其实有一个很听起来非常习惯的一个声音，就是 you should at least 如何如何。好 ，you should at least 或者如果是你现在对过去讲哈，你当时至少应该要怎么做？你会说 you should have at least 怎样？ For example,、mm-hmm. you don't have to make a lot of small talk with me, but you should at least say hello. Yeah, you 不必跟我这个闲闲聊啊，等等。但是至少你要说跟我打个招呼吧。Right. 所以这个 you should at least， 这是英文很常见的一个一个一个组合一个 chunk。所以呢，我们翻的时候，我们就可以直接放进去。But you should at least try. 好，那我这个句子我就可以翻成这样。我再从头再念一遍。It's not always easy to stick to your goals, but you should at least try. Okay. Here's my translation. It's not always easy to persist in your goals, but you should at least give it your best shot. Two things to watch out for here. Number one, you don't use persist by itself because it's not transitive. 不是及物动词在这里 You have to persist in something. So remember that preposition to persist in your goals. It's not always easy to persist in your goals. And the second thing to watch out for is the idiom to give it your best shot. Now, one of the tools of American English is we use a lot of sports metaphors. Now, I personally am not a big fan, not a fan at all of professional sports. I like sports when I'm doing them, and it helps me、uh, exercise and makes me stronger. But we have so, so many idioms in American English from professional sports, and that's one reason American English can often be hard to understand for a foreigner. They understand all the words, but they don't know professional sports idioms. Hmm. 好，那 idioms 本来就是特色，就是你可能认识里面每一个字，可是你不知道它什么意思。那在美式英语里面呢，特别有很多的 idioms 是来自于运动啊，因为美国人这个对于运动是通常是蛮蛮蛮喜爱，至少这文化是蛮喜欢运动的。They like to watch it on TV. Yeah， 他们很喜欢在电视上看电这个运动转播。They don't always exercise a lot themselves, but they love watching it and talking about it and cheering and drinking beer while they're watching.、It. Yeah， 好，所以呢，这个美国人他可能自也许自己不见得很喜欢运动，可能他们。大概都很喜欢看运动比赛哈，然后可以喝啤酒啊，大家跟朋友聚在一起看运动比赛，他们觉得很过瘾。所以很多的 idioms 来自于运动哈，所以碰到这种 idiom 的时候，各位要了解到，哎，它跟运动之间的关联是什么？这样你就会比较容易记得这个 idiom 的意思。像这 give it your best shot， 在这里也是一样哈，就是你最好的一个一个尝试，然后像投篮啊什么的，你最好想办法最好的。尽全力投一次的意思。Exactly, that's、mm-hmm. right. So my translation again is: It's not always easy to persist in your goals, but you should at least give it your best shot. That means to do your very best to try and achieve it. 嗯哼，好，那 Karen 老师用的，我我用的是 stick to your goals。那 Karen 老师用的是 persist in your goals。那一样，刚刚 Karen 老师提醒大家一定要有个 in。另外一个呢 ，persist persist 这个字呢，也比较正式一点啊，比那个 stick to 稍微就是比较正式一点。其实我我昨天晚上在翻的时候，我就在想。Stick to 听起来对我来讲 ，it sounds too informal for me. 但是我想不到一个更好的字啊。现在看到啊，对对对，就是 that's the word I want. Stick to stick to、uh-huh. is a very good expression,、mm-hmm. and that reminds me of a noun that my father made up, and he used it a lot. <laughs> There were two things that he used a lot. One was from German Sitzfleisch, which means sit meat. It means patience. That means you have to be patient and wait until it's time.、Mm-hmm. The other one is stick toativeness. Actually, I think my father may not have been the only one who used it. Other people、mm. may use it to Google it. I haven't Googled it, but、mm-hmm. see if it's there. Stick to it is the phrase that means 坚持下去 stick to it,、ah. and he made it into a noun. First, an adjective, stick to it, tiv. Then, a noun, j n e s s. You have to have stick to itiveness.、Oh, that's an interesting word. <laughs> yes, it makes me、yeah. think of my father, so、uh. it gives me a nice feeling. Besides, <laughs> so stick to it is a really, really good expression.、Mm-hmm. But Wesley is right; it's more colloquial. Persist in is a little bit more formal. Hmm. 好，那我们来看看我们杂志上面怎么翻呢 ？In spite of the fact that sticking to your objectives isn't always easy, you should at least give it a try. Now we all have slightly different translations for this "do your best" thing, and each one is a bit different in intensity. Wesley's was "you should at least try,"、yeah. and that's rather neutral.、Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound intense or too weak. It's quite neutral. Mine is very strong. 
Give it your best shot means to do your very best, to try the hardest you can. This one is the weakest of the three. You should at least give it a try. 试试看吧。嗯，好，所以 give it a try 呢，这个语气上面比 try 还要稍微弱一点点，弱很多，然、哦、弱很多啊、yeah. 哦。所以啊，各位要知道这三种方法都对啊，但是要用哪一个呢？其实你要知道它语气的问题。那另外一个呢， in spite of the fact that 啊、嗯，这个东西这个片语大家可以学起来，英文也有这种说法。And、yeah. always remember that it is a preposition. You have to put a noun after it. So you can't say something like in spite of he is not coming. Mm-hmm. It has to be in spite of the fact that he is not coming. We're going to hold the meeting anyway. Yeah. So that's one thing our students often get wrong. When you have these expressions, some people just 有点随便的漏一些字 The other one is even.、Uh, I'm going to do it even you don't want me to. Is that correct? Even if. Even if you don't want me to. Even though you don't want me to. Even 后面你要注意什么时候要加 if 或者 though. So. Uh, even though you don't think it's a good idea, we're going ahead with it anyway. Even if you don't feel like it, let's do it anyway. 注意不要说 even you don't like it， 这是不通的。嗯，所以你你像这个东西，各位在背的时候，你就直接背 in spite of the fact that 一起背起来， yes. 连 that 一起背，你就会记得后面要加子句了。Right or in spite of his insisting that we come, yeah, 只要是名词就可以了。也可以或加动名词 ，Yeah. 嗯哼。Mm-hmm. OK， 那我们看看第二句哈。他说：“毕竟啊，尽力去做而失败，总比从未尝试来得好。”那毕竟大概直接我们就可以翻 After all 啊。然后呢，这个这 A 比 B 好，通常我们可以用 It's better to do A 啊 than do B 啊。所以我们在这里我们可以讲 It's better to 尽力去做而失败。那这感觉起来。这可能已经做过了啊，所以这里的时态呢，我选择的是用完成型的这个不定词哈、啊。It's better to have tried 啊，就是已经试过了，然后 and failed， 但是失败了啊。所以这个时态上面，各位可以注意一下。It's better to have tried and failed， 然后呢 ，then 从未尝试啊，那就我们可以用 never than never to have tried at all。啊，那这样的话，这个句子翻出来了。那那我再把这个句子从头翻讲念一遍。After all, it's better to have tried and failed than never to have tried at all. Now Wesley is basing this on a very very famous saying: "Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all." Everybody practically knows this saying. And he's just basing the structure of this sentence on that particular saying: "Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all." The first word is "tis" apostrophe 大写的 t i s, which is a contraction for "it is" that we no longer use. Except in these old sayings, or in poetry, or in jokes,、mm. "tis better to have tis." Now we would say "its." And that's also correct, but the saying that's a 固定的，而且是比较古老的 ，tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. So Wesley, say your translation again. It's better to have tried and failed than never to have tried at all. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so we are just following the pattern of this saying, and we do it in a joking way because, like I said, we don't use tis anymore, except if we're quoting something from an old source. Okay, and here's my translation. Mine is about the same because I'm using that same saying as a model. After all, 'tis better to have tried your best and failed than never to have tried at all. Once more, after all, it's better to have tried your best and failed than never to have tried at all. Originally, I left out after all. 毕竟 should be translated as after all. But I don't like the sound of it because it sounds like 说教 ah,、uh, mm-hmm. and we don't use it that often. At least that's my subjective feeling. After all, 听起来好像有就是有那种好像跟小孩子说教的感觉 After all, blah blah blah. So I avoided it. I I put it in because I had to, but I would have preferred not to. Tis better to have tried your best and failed than never to have tried at all. Standing by itself, I think is better. 嗯哼，好，那因为 Carrie 老师前面第一句他是 give it your best shot， 所以这里呢他是。It's better to have tried your best and failed. Ah, so this your best 加进去跟前一句呼应 Okay, and here's the translation in the magazine. After all, trying your best and failing is better than not trying at all. Actually, I like this translation. I think it's nice and concise. Man, Jianjie. After all, trying your best and failing is better than not trying at all. And they're not quoting that saying quite so directly. 
。对，那这里还各位还可以注意到文法，就是 than 的前后呢，你可以像我们的杂志上的用全部都用动名词啊来比较，像 trying your best and failing 都是动名词，然后 is better than。Not trying at all 都是动名词，那你也可以都用不定词，好像这个我跟 Karen 老师的句子都是 better to have tried and failed than never to have tried at all 啊，两个都是可以的。最重要就是要对等，要平行，你不要一个用动名词，一个用不定词，那就很糟糕了。Wesley's in mind put it in the past、uh, mm-hmm. to have tried, but here trying your best is more general， 比较没有时间性。Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it for today, and remember to tune in next time. We'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye bye.